Well, guys, today we're gonna see the Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex get unboxed on Jurassic World Outpost. And we're gonna go ahead and scan her into the Jurassic World Facts app. I will give you the scan code. Awesome. Stay tuned. Okay guys, super excited here. I have not got the Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex yet, but I did see my friend Chris on Jurassic Outpost has it and he did a full review on it. So he got it from Entertainment Earth. I contacted them and they are probably going to go ahead and send me out one. But uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look. So let's go ahead and take a look at part of his video. You could also uh, pre-order this on Entertainment Earth and get it this May. I'll put a link below the video where you could order it. Jurassic World logo. This is a Triceratops, so I think it's going to be there or not. Um, and then you see blue bottom. It's really nothing special. You have and you can do the arms. And one of the things that's this open. Kind of hard. I'm a big fan of keeping the box sort of intact. You have a, at least temporarily. So there, inside the box, you have a instruction manual. The card, the collector's card, should be right about there. All right. So you have these little twisty guys down here. So, well, she stands really easily. And I'm just, you can see the card is in there in this little, really like this artwork for the Indominus. I haven't been, okay, so I'll be honest, I haven't been a huge fan of these cards. Um, I was like, I would like to see like more involved artwork. However, I do think it's a... So... So, this is the Indominus Rex. So, right away, like most of the toys in this toy line, it has at least two different dual features. Um, but it actually has more. But uh, the first the first one is, of course, the chomping bite. Then you have these slashing arms. You can bring her down like that, so she lunges down, and then if you do it with the button, um, it does that. On top of that, inside of her mouth, there's a button, which, Activates the light in different sounds. Now, each of the legs have their own pivot of articulation. And you can hear that inside it has sort of like a mechanism because the legs like to move with one another, but they don't have to move with one another. Well, oh, look at that. Okay, so this leg does the feature of the head, the left leg. However, the right leg can move independently of the left leg. It stands really well, which is good. And what's cool, and I didn't expect this because they're on an, uh, on an action feature, but the arms are still poseable. You can extend them outward and down, like so. Um, you can pivot them around a little bit. You can't really pivot the shoulders in and out because that's on the action feature but you can get a full range of 360 motion and bend them at the elbow. The elbow also is twistable, so you can really, you know, if you want a funky pose, you can get a funky pose out of your Indominus Rex. Um, and then, depending on where you put her hands, it's 
just a weird noise. It's sort of like a metal slashing noise. Um, but yeah, depending on where you put the arms, you can move her however you like. So I think one of the things that I really am most excited to do are some size comparisons and comparisons to maybe some items that existed in the past. So let's cut to the chase. The Hasbro Indominus Rex was not a good toy at all. And uh, as you can see, this new Indominus Rex is a lot bigger than the Hasbro one. Um, let's see, maybe you can tell that way. So right away, you can get a feel for the size. Not only does this new one look a lot better, um, but it is a lot bigger. It's a, just a better toy altogether. I know people wanted to have a bit of a comparison, so I'm giving you the quick comparison, but I don't want to spend too much time on the items of the past. Let's um, compare it to some of the Mattel toys. So here it is next to the newly released Attack Pack um, Masaurus? Masaurus? I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce its name. Um, and here's the Indominus Rex next to a Owen figure. As you can see, it's a pretty big toy. And it can happily and easily... Oops. Oh, shoot. His knife popped off. <laughs> but, um... So she can happily chomp down on Owen. And, uh, swallow him whole. So one of the cool things is you have this really nice sort of grayish white color, but it's not plain and it doesn't look dirty. So you have this really nice sort of like like muted grayish with like a hint of brown coloration scheme on the top here and it's just airbrushed and it's really light, but it looks very natural and it kind of has a gradient effect as it goes down. And uh, you have that same color uh, darkening the sockets of the skull, um, especially around the eye and it really makes it pop. And it also helps it from looking too plain and unfinished, which is something that the um, Hasbro really suffered from. And then the eye, it's like a really, really nice, like, kind of bright orange eye. Um, nothing crazy going on with the eye detail, but it looks good. And then, of course, you have the painted toenails. That is the scaled, I would say, is larger than the Indominus Rex. It is not larger. Um, the Bite and Fight T-Rex is appropriately smaller than the Indominus Rex. They're actually scaled, I would say, perfectly, which is pretty astounding. Um, normally, there's a little bit of creative liberty taken with these toys to make them function as a toy, but they, these are both large toys. None of them, they don't feel like too small, yet the Indominus Rex scales beautifully to the T-Rex, and yet but the T-Rex doesn't feel small in comparison. Destroy and Devour and Indominus Rex is probably my favorite item in the toy line, second to the Mosasaurus. Um, and the toy line itself, the Mattel Jurassic World toy line, is filled with the top three items. And it looks like Jurassic Outpost had some other news, so let's go ahead and check out what it is. It says, What's the battle at Big Rock? The new Mattel Toys reveal. Mysterious Jurassic World spin-off title. Cool. So I think this is, I think uh, Mattel is actually going to come out with their own animated title. Whoa, they had the Allosaurus and the uh, Nasudoceratops. Whoa, those guys look awesome. I didn't even know those were coming out. Cool. So oh, according to this, it might be a live action short film, but I think from what I heard, it sounded like Mattel's going to be coming out with an animated series based on new Jurassic World dinosaurs. So that is really cool. Let's see what else he says here. So it, it looks like these are being sold at some Walmarts. This one's the Walmart in California. He's seen it on the shelf, and the Allosaurus was another Walmart in California. 
So the title of the film, I guess, is going to be Battle at Big Rock, and it looks awesome. Okay, so here on his site, too, he says the dinosaurs of Jurassic World are both male and female. So let's go ahead and check this out and their breeding. Yeah, so it's saying that dinosaurs of Jurassic World, there is actually male and female. So they will, they will be breeding and in the next movie, I mean, they're probably going to spread all over. So that's kind of cool. Awesome. Uh, here's some news for the... Uh, he's got some news for the new Jurassic World 3 movie. It looks like Neil Scanlon's going to return to the animatronic team. Okay, so I am going to try to scan in the Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex into the Jurassic World Facts app. Let's see if it works. Yes! It works! So the uh, scan point I give you guys will actually let you scan in the Indominus Rex and he is in here! How sweet is that? Let's see, let's go ahead and poke him a little bit, see what he does. That is awesome. Sorry I don't have my usual setup here, but uh, let's see. So his stats are strength of 10, speed of 8, intelligence of 10, aggression of 10. Let's get some facts on this guy. So, in the film she eats her sibling right after hatching. Her immense size is attributed to the Gigantosaurus genes used in her creation. In the film, she's insanely aggressive and kills for sport. So that is totally awesome! So you guys will have the scan point for the new Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex! And if you guys have been following uh, my dinos, I do have 76 scan codes that I've included for you guys. And today's secret word is the word... Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video. I'll know you're a member of my club. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun video. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos. And if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.